So I wanted to talk about this gun that I got. So I got this Umerix Morph 3X, and I really kind of like it. It's neat. Looks like it goes up to 600 feet per second if you put the thing on there. But I've seen a video where a guy had just that not that barrel on there, just a, just the handgun itself, and he got up 500 feet per second. And he, he was really in the in the high 400s. It wasn't like every shot or anything, but still, by itself. So anyway, um, I wanted to make this video before I threw away the box. Okay, so I realized that the gun itself doesn't actually have a barrel that goes all the way in. The barrel stops right around here and it had this other you know like these pieces on the inside here and I tried to pull it out and I broke it and then I cut it and then I realized that this plastic goes all the way down in here into this barrel here and holds this spring that helps meet the or marry the two barrels together so what I did was is I Pot, I cut the plastic so it'll still spring and then I use pop rivets to keep it there. Another thing I like about this gun is, uh, so I haven't actually shortened the barrel, I've just shortened this shroud piece of crap, I don't know what that is. Anyway, you can, I can still put on whatever, you know, piece that I want. I like this, I like this, like this. Um, I like how you can put a, a cartridge, a CO2 cartridge in there and you don't have to pierce it. So you could just leave it sitting in there because eventually it'll probably leak out because I'm not sure about the mechanism in here. I'm gonna buy another one and gut it and then see it. It's got the 30 round mag on the side. I like these on my BB guns because um, you don't lose BBs that way. So, I mean, that's neat. It's a Picatinny rail. I mean, a lot of people like do these really cool reviews about it. So I've got to about 19 inches here, and about 19 and a half if you consider part of the trigger and now it's really short I think before when I'm looking at the box it says that it is a total of rifle length is 38.5 inches long so I mean it's it's pretty long but I mean what really kind of sucks is you know that is not actually all true I mean, when you, when you really don't have any internal barrel further than that, when you look at the pistol, even on the inside, you don't, you don't actually have any barrel. It doesn't go all the way down. The BB barrel really goes in here somewhere. And so this, this piece, um, so I think the BB barrel by itself only goes this far, and the gun goes about this far. Anyway... I didn't see the need for all the excess. I'm gonna find some sort of a cap and put it on there, maybe like, you know, beauty, beautify it up. Um, use just a permanent marker on my pop rivets. Anyway, I was just kind of showing you like what I had done. You know, it's got the safety and all this kind of stuff still. I don't know if I want a safety on my gun or not. Um, I'll, I'll see, or maybe I'll make a few of them. I want to buy a few more and then do different stuff with them. Probably, I don't know if I'd leave one stock realizing that the barrel is all the way down. At first, I mean, I broke this because I kind of wanted to move this down further so it would be closer to here. I could probably still do something to put it on there. You know, my 3D printer is kind of out of commission. I had to send it back and I'm getting a new one. So I was thinking I could print something cool. That would be neat. And I've also got like a red dot coming. So I want like a red dot but have BBs that, you know, and then I've also got a, uh, a chronograph coming from China, so it's going to take a while, but once it gets here, hopefully be done with all the stuff in my house that I'm working on, and, um, you know, fixing up my house, then I can go out and do some shooting videos. Um, nature's been kind of closed off here in Washington, so I'm not able to do that. So anyway, so you end up with about this much extra barrel on this gun that doesn't really do anything. It just sits on the end of that gun and it's just there. 
adding length. I don't know why. Anyway, so here's what it kind of looks like so far. I'll update it once I figure out what I'm gonna what else I'm gonna do to it. Anyway, here's what it looks like with that on there. I think it looks a lot better. It's definitely a lot more portable in the house. Anyway, so that's it.